Um, so, Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, of course, you know. Uh, the, 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 that's the kind of uh, exciting thing about watching a, a story being told where you don't know where it's going. And I guess that's the kind of, um, the, the exciting thing about something like Game of Thrones where you have, you know, a protagonist in the first season who doesn't make it to the end. Uh, and that continues. And uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, I had a friend of mine who uh, was a big fan of the books and he got to the end of book three and literally tore it up and threw it away and he went, I'm not, I'm done with this. I'm, there's no way I'm going to uh, read anymore. And that, there is a, there is an element that, that, that happens, but ultimately we're, we're, we're so used to knowing how, to, how things turn out that it's such a, a, a it's, a, you can't not deny the dramatic uh, power of really not knowing what's happening. And, and as far as TV shows, I mean, there was a time when films lasted 90 minutes. Now they're, you know, verging on three hours. And that's just going to increase. And that's where television comes in. And that's why you can tell a story with time and develop things. And it makes a big difference. That's why everyone's, you know, all the big talent is going into telling stories in, in the TV format, which is great for actors as well as creative people because, you know, like, like uh, Clive said, you can develop characters unless you die. <laughs> but, but no